Hi, this is the lesson number one in this series of European literature. In this lesson, we shall talk about the first about the Greek myths and mythologies and about all Greek gods and goddesses. Before talking about them, first I would like to just think about Indian mythology and in Indian mythology what we have all god and goddesses and uh, their mythical stories. About each and every god we have a, a different story and uh, somewhere they relate to a particular family and then their generations. So all such stories are there about the Greek gods and goddesses. So to start with according to Greek myths what we have first there was nothing there was nothing and that time uh, it was called as the goddess chaos uh, initially the goddess chaos was genderless and later it was said that uh, this god or goddess became uh, as a female and uh, this goddess from uh, chaos we have the origin of the other gods before that it was only chaos chaos means nothingness or nothing means no one existed before and then we see uh, the first goddess the name of that goddess is Gaia Gaia was the goddess of earth and she was born from chaos and later Gaia gave birth to several gods so among several gods we have uh, some names I shall repeat them but for the moment I will tell you one particular name and that is Uranus uh, Uranus born of Gaia but later Uranus and uh, Gaia mated means they became somewhat like husband and wife and they gave birth to children so this sounds something odd but the things are as I am telling you so Gaia was the first goddess after chaos and then we have Uranus born of Gaia and he is a male god and he is the god of sky and uh, about their children okay uh, but first uh, uh, let's uh, repeat some of the other gods and goddesses we have as you can see in the list Aches and the goddess or god of poison and then we have Aether god of light Eros this name you must have heard before Eros uh, god of love Nemesis, the god of retribution means uh, of revenge then Nyx, the god of night Fanes, the god of procreation then Hemera, god of day and Aura, god of mountain okay, uh, means there may be so many others but uh, among these gods only two or three to be remembered first Chaos and then the two special names we have Gaia and Uranus these are the two important gods and now we talk about the family of Gaia and Uranus about their children they gave birth to number of children and their children were called as the Titan and Titanesses it is also said that there was six Titans and six Titanesses means six males and six females and they mated each other means they uh, were uh, in the relation of husband and wife in one way we can call and they then they gave birth to uh, their children and that's how the another generations of these god uh, develop among them uh, the most prominent okay we have two or three so we just repeat some of the names first is the hyperion hyperion is a quite common name among the titans so these are the names of the titans and titanesses hyperion is the titan of light he is also called as the father of a sun and moon and his wife okay somewhere you can call his sister and his wife because they are born of the same parents Thaya Thaya is the titanesses of a sight so they were uh, in the relation of husband and wife uh, hyperion and Thaya. Then we have the uh, next uh, important name that is Cronus. Cronus is the titan of uh, harvest and uh, he overthrew Uranus. Uranus is father, the king of all gods. He overthrew. Okay, there is a story about him. We shall just uh, 
discuss that after just repeating these names and there is one more story about that uh, uh, he ate his own sons means he he used to eat his sons okay there was a reason behind that there is a mythical story and uh, we shall discuss pretty soon then we have Rhea Rhea, Rhea is the wife or we can say the Titanesis so Titanesis is the uh, goddess of fertility and there comes uh, an important name that is Zeus Zeus is the god and uh, who was Zeus okay so we now discuss about that mythical story uh, first we know that Uranus was the king of all gods and goddesses and then there was the generation of Titan and Titanesis among them the most important or the king of the god who became was Cronus Cronus was the god who overthrew his father means uh, who uh, we can say who throned himself as the king of gods Uranus uh, so after Uranus we have Cronus who became the king of gods and uh, the son of Cronus was Zeus and uh, Zeus did the same but what is the mythical story uh, it started like that there was a prophecy when Cronus and uh, Rhea they were living and that time there was a prophecy that uh, Cronus will be overthrown by his own son because Cronus has done the same thing to his father Uranus so the prophecy was that overthrown uh, sorry uh, Cronus will be overthrown by his own son so with that fear what Cronus did that he uh, started eating his sons as his son any of his son born he used to eat means murder or whatever way you can say and uh, then when Zeus born okay uh, several sons were eaten up then Zeus born and that time his wife Rhea she deceived her husband what she did she uh, okay uh, means uh, she uh, gave safety to the ch uh, the child first she hid uh, hide the child somewhere and gave a stone or piece of a rock in a blanket to her husband showing that this is their son and uh, that's how she managed to save her son Zeus once Zeus was saved and he lived uh, uh, his childhood uh, somewhere around the Olympian Mount and then uh, he overthrew his father Cronus in uh, somewhere in the future so we have the generation like this that the first there was Uranus then uh, the king of gods uh, was uh, Cronus and uh, Cronus was a titan and after his son means after Cronus we have his son Zeus he became the uh, king of gods and he belongs to the generation of Olympians so first gods and then the titan uh, okay that is also the form of gods titans they were called and then we have the gods who are called as the olympians because most of them they used to live around the mount olympus okay so there are several other titans and titanesses after cronus and rhea uh, we have themis the titan of law and order and then we have phoebe uh, then another titan we have title of ocean that is Oceanus and then titan Lepetus about Lepetus we have that he is the titan of morality and he is the father of Prometheus so another god another important god father of Prometheus so Prometheus his son somewhere down the line we can see that uh, Zeus is the son of Cronus and Prometheus is the son of Leptus so both Zeus and Prometheus are the sons of Titans and Zeus and Prometheus somewhere we can consider them as cousins and they are Olympians further we have Atlas he is also the son of Leptus and uh, then we have Creus another Titan and then we have Nemo Sin Nemosin is the titan of memory so these are the important uh, titan and titanesis uh, so these are they are almost equivalent to any of the god means they were powerful they had knowledge they have uh, they were immortal means uh, 
they were not to die and then they have all magical and spiritual divine powers like any other gods and this is the time uh, or they used to live somewhere around 5000 bc so somewhere around it is also said that mahabharata of indian among the indian epics we have the most important so similar sort of you can say period is mentioned about this uh, these gods and goddesses especially about the titan and titanesses so now we shall move to the uh, next generation and that is the generation of the olympians so now about the olympians who is the king of the olympians or the gods that is zeus zeus is also called as the god of sky and uh, then we have his brothers so okay the, it was said that uh, there used to be three uh, male and three female olympians so among them we have the prominent names like first zeus and then we have hades he is the god of underworld underworld is uh, the this term is uh, treated as uh, the world that is below the earth means under under the earth we can take as so uh, there is another myth we shall discuss about this about his wife that is persephone Persephone is his wife. Uh, what is the myth? That uh, his daughter means the daughter of Hades and his wife Persephone. Their daughter was kidnapped or abducted, and uh, the mother Persephone became upset. She was sad, and uh, she, in the mode of sadness, she went into sleep, and she was uh, means for the sixth month. She was just uh, means as any upset person can be. So that was the period referred as the period of autumn. So that is why we have autumn or that uh, means it's not a means that highly welcomed weather. So that is the period of autumn. And when uh, later she got her daughter back, that time she felt pretty happy. And uh, that was the period uh, called as the period of spring. So it is said that uh, spring is the uh, somewhere representation of the goddess Persephone. So this is the mythical uh, story about Persephone. So after Hades we have another god, another Olympian god. The name is Poseidon. Poseidon is the god of sea, earth. Then we have three goddesses because three male Olympians and now three female Olympians. Uh, goddess of women and family that is Hera. Then we have Hestia, goddess of uh, hearth, virginity, family. Uh, hearth means that is somewhere related to uh, kitchen and cooking and those uh, things. And then we have goddess Demeter. She is the goddess of harvest and agriculture. So among these gods and goddesses, just remember the name like Demeter. She is pretty important. And Persephone, I have already told you. Uh, there is a writer. So it's a literary point now. A.C. Swinburne. A.C. Swinburne, the writer, he has written a poem on Persephone. So this is a point. You can search Persephone poem by A.C. Swinburne on Google. So now, these were the Olympians. And moving further, we have the generation of other gods and these are the sons and daughters of Zeus. So the, that Olympian god, he Zeus had uh, hundreds means hundred plus sons and daughters so all they were gods and goddesses among them some of the prominent name which I found that should be remembered these are like Apollo pretty common commonly you hear this name Apollo he is the god of prophecy and the prophecy means to tell future and uh, then he is also means the god of healing and uh, uh, his place of living or where he used to live that is pretty famous that is Delphi's Oracle. He is also called as Delphi is the name of the place. If uh, someone asks you Apollo where you used to live that is Al uh, Delphi and Oracle means a person who tells the future. So on the whole if someone asks you who is the Delphi's Oracle that is Apollo. Then we have another names like uh, Hermes and he is the goddess of merchant and uh, sorry she is the goddess of merchant 
and then Artemis and she is the goddess of goddess of hunting, protecting young girls and uh, okay, not so important, but important name we have that is Athena. Athena is the goddess of war and wisdom. And later the name Athens we have a Greek city, so the name of that city is derived from this goddess Athena. Then uh, quite a uh, important god or goddess Dionysus. And this goddess is of wine and dance and all those uh, luxurious things or uh, things related to celebrations. Okay, you can consider it, uh, it as the god or goddess. Okay, means uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the most important thing is that uh, to which thing they are associated. So we have goddess uh, like Athena and then we have Dionysus, uh, the goddess or the god of celebration wine and all those uncivilized some sometime called as uncivilized cultural things after these generations of god we have another term and that is called as the demigod who are these demigods or goddesses they are the children of the gods but uh, the difference is there means uh, one of their parent is uh, the god or and other is the earthly human being means either father or mother has to be earthly human being so among them we have several names like Achilles, Hercules, Helena these three names I have picked uh, these are somewhere related to the uh, literature because in literature you will find their names and uh, about them they all have the qualities like a superhero magical things divine powers but these demigods are mortals means these demigods will die so this is uh, the point about them that uh, they are not immortals like their parents means like the gods so among these three okay uh, first about hercules Hercules is also uh, celebrated among by the Romans as well as their superhero and he is the son of Zeus and his father uh, sorry his mother name is Alcimene Alcimene and Zeus I have told you Zeus is uh, uh, the uh, Greek god and uh, his equivalent in Roman culture we have Jupiter so if I say that uh, uh, it won't be wrong if you find somewhere written that uh, Hercules is the son of Jupiter. Jupiter in Roman culture and we have Zeus in Greek culture. And what about him? There are several movies also based on Hercules. Means uh, in the childhood he was even by his birth he was abandoned by his mother because uh, she never she was never happy with his birth then she gave him to make his life tougher she gave him quite uh, means a uh, tough task 12 task 12 labors even sometimes called as uh, sometimes you can take them as the missions means a uh, killing of devils or something like that means uh, such a movie movie like things you can imagine 12 hard task he uh, had to follow so he accepted uh, uh, all those uh, hard tasks and completed them successfully end of the day so some of the movies if you find all are based on such uh, of his uh, uh, what we can say adventures then we have Helena she is also importance demigod and uh, about her okay we shall discuss in the uh, Trojan War what about her about her parents and uh, 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 okay all about her life and what really she caused uh, means uh, we hear that this term that the Trojan war is caused by Helena the most beautiful lady and at last uh, okay we have reached to another demigod that is Achilles uh, Achilles okay I we shall discuss about him because he is also a featured uh, means hero in the Trojan war means he is a so powerful person Okay, he has everything like a superhero as we have Hercules and uh, the most important thing about him that the whole of his body is like uh, uh, anybody who is immortal means none cannot kill him 
by hurting his uh, body either on the chest on the back or on the legs or except his heel he his weakness lies in his heel not on the both of heels only one of the heel and why or how because in the childhood his mother married thetis the name of his mother okay not so important uh, she wanted him to be immortal okay she got the boon from god and uh, what was said that there is a styx river styx river she had to dip her son into the river and uh, to make him immortal so she did the same but as she was holding him from his heel one of his heel because otherwise he would completely uh, somewhere lost in the water or could die so she was holding him uh, from his heel and uh, only that part where the water could not touch his heel uh, re remain mortal and the rest of his body became immortal and in the end you will find that uh, when the trojan war was going on he was killed on his heel and that's how he died okay one where you may have uh, heard this idiom that is achilles heel means weak point of someone so that's all about achilles so now before finishing this lesson i would like to just uh, repeat the main points so first we have the goddess chaos and then we have the goddess uh, gaia and there came or there other gods born of her and important name is uranus and uranus and gaia gave birth to titan and titanesses and among them we have cronus and rhea and uh, cronus gave birth to and okay cronus and rhea both they gave birth to zeus and zeus uh, overthrew his father and became the king of titans and uh, sorry the king of olympians because uh, cronus belonged to the generation of titans and zeus belonged to the uh, generation of olympians so among the olympians i told you several names like uh, uh, hades and his wife persephone and their mythical story and then we have other names like apollo dionysus and others and in the end i told you about uh, the demigods like hercules achilles and helena so that's it for this lesson and this is all about the roman sorry greek gods and goddesses and their mythical stories so i hope you have enjoyed this lesson thanks for watching this lesson have a nice day